Good evening, and thank you for joining me for evening prayer this Thursday night. Yeah. Best part of the day, evening prayer. Just let it all go. Yeah. That's in the past. So let's just use this time to gather, to enter into prayer, into evening prayer, the prayer of the church. So let's just center ourselves, quiet ourselves, let's embrace our, ourselves in the love of God and the fellowship that we are sharing. So let us begin. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen and hallelujah. The Lord is my stronghold and my Savior. Hallelujah. Psalm 144, Prayer for Victory and Priests. Christ learned the art of warfare when he overcame the world. As he said, I have overcome the world. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arm for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior, my shield, my place of refuge. He brings people under my rule. Look, what is man that you care for him, mortal man that you give, that you keep him in mind, man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow. Lower your heavens and come down. Teach the mountains. Read them in smoke. Flash, flash your lightings. Rout the foe. Shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters, from the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies whose hands are raised in perjury. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is my stronghold and my Savior. Alleluia. Thanks be to God, who has given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the ten-string harp. To you who give kings their victory, who set David your servant free. You set him free from the evil sword. You rescued him from alien foes whose mouths were filled with lies, whose hands were raised in perjury. Let our sons then flourish like saplings, grow tall and strong from their youth, our daughters graceful as columns, adorned as though for a palace. Let our barns be filled to overflowing with crops of every kind, our sheep increasing by thousand Myriads of sheep in our fields, our cattle heavy with young. No rune wall, no exile, no sound of weeping in our streets. Happy the people with such blessings. Happy the people whose God is the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. 
Lord, God of strength. You gave your son victory over death. Direct your church's flight, fight against evil in the world. Close us with the weapons of light and unite us under the one banner of love that we may receive our eternal reward after the battle of eternal life. Thanks be to God who has given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Christ, yesterday and today, he is the same forever. Alleluia. And the canticle, the judgment of God. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath. In the moment to judge the dead, in the time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now have salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brother is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death, so rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ today and yesterday, he is the same forever. Alleluia. In a reading from 1 Peter, the reason why Christ died for sins once for all, the just man for the sake of the unjust, was that he might lead you to God. He was put to death in so far as fleshly existence goes but was given life in the spirit. He went to heaven and is at God's right hand with angelic rulers and powers subjected to him. Responsorial. The disciples rejoiced. Alleluia, alleluia. The disciples rejoiced. Alleluia, alleluia. When they saw the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. And glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the shepherd of my sheep. I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. Alleluia. And the Canticle of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him <coughs> in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones. He has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I am the shepherd of my sheep. I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly. Alleluia. And our intercessions. The Father has established in Christ the foundation of all our hope 
and the principle of our resurrection. Let us rejoice in Christ and cry out to him, saying, King of glory, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, through your resurrection, you enter the sanctuary of heaven to offer the blood of your own sacrifice. Lead us with you into the glory of the Father. King of glory, hear our prayer. Through your resurrection, you confirm the faith of your disciples and sent them out into the world. Make all bishops and priests faithful preachers of the gospel. King of glory, hear our prayer. Through your resurrection, you became our peace and reconciliation. Unite the baptized in perfect communion of faith and love. King of glory, hear our prayer. Through your resurrection, the crippled man was healed at the gate of the temple. Look on the sick and reveal in them the power of your glory. King of glory, hear our prayer. You became the firstborn from the dead, the first fruits of the resurrection. Grant to the dead who hoped in you a share in your glory. King of glory, hear our prayer. In the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, in restoring human nature, you have given us a greater dig dignity than we had in the beginning. Keep us in your love and continue to sustain those who have received new life and baptism. And we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless all of you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now go in peace to have a nice, quiet evening. And enjoy your evening. And we'll see you in the morning. God bless.